YouTube, have it coming to you, Captain Awesome's Fish Room, Jeff Crumbs Bro Vibe, bringing you another video. Yes! Today is exciting. I got to play with something I like to play with. Pause. Not that way. Don't freak. Anyways, I uh, got to play with some Play Doh. Really excited about today's video. Today is going to be a video on how to visually sex. A Paracromus Managuins or Jaguar Cichlid and how to vent sex. Central and South American Cichlids in general. Now, of course, guys, this is a general rule, okay? Uh, you know, fish and species will vary, okay, as far as what I'm showing you today. Uh, sometimes it's harder to tell. Sometimes it's easier to tell. But as far as Jaguars go, surefire ways. So take a look at this awesomeness, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and I think this is the first video I've made where we've come back and you're actually looking at me again. Let's see if we can get bigger down here. Come on, no, there you go. Look at him while I'm talking, or you can look at me. I don't care. Uh, I'm really excited about today's video, though. It's, uh, I can't wait to show y'all what I've done. Uh, something a kid would do, but, um, Okay, when visually trying to uh, sex a jaguar or Paracromus managuins, uh, there's a few traits that you can look for. Now, if you've kept them for a while and you know you have a really trained eye and you you know you've dealt with this cichlid a lot, uh, you can sex them as small as I'd say one and a half, two inches, uh, but. If you're semi-new to sexing jaguars, uh, you know, three to four inches should give you a pretty good idea, or at least, uh, you know, a 75 to 80 percent, um, you know, correctness inside of your, I guess, diagnosis. But anyways, uh, now males, uh, we'll start off with the males, um, you'll notice a lot more, uh, you know, like spotting or peppering. Uh, you know, it depends on who you talk to as to what they call it. Um, I call it spotting. Um, the males, they get kind of these, uh, I don't know what to call it, like this maze looking pattern, and it's like a bunch of, it can be a bunch of little spots, it can be like a maze type deal, um, and, you know, sometimes you'll actually see some black blotches that go kind of, it's like right right there on the lateral line, like right below, the, right below or right below, I can't, I haven't kept them in a while, but uh, you may see some blotches, now whenever they're smaller, uh, those zigzag lines and, uh, you know, massive amounts of uh, spotting, uh, it's going to look more uh, regular, I guess, it's not going to be like a maze or anything like that, now, you know, when they're small, like I said, now, whenever they get, you know, five, six, seven, eight inches, if you have, you know, a really nice specimen, they're going to start showing that maze, uh, spotting pattern, uh, really early, but, uh, whenever you're sexing them small, it's like that big, uh, you're going to notice a lot of spotting, uh, if it's a male, you'll notice the black blotches, uh, that the females will carry, will start dwindling away, uh, they won't show as prominently anymore. Uh, now with the females on the other hand, uh, they're, they're beautiful in their own right. And with the males also, uh, you'll see more of a, a pronounced uh, snout, kind of more sloped out snout. On the females, it's going to be more of a blunt snout, okay, and I'm talking about their face, uh, where it points down to their mouth. Uh, the males, you'll notice, kind of go like this, and then the females kind of go like this. So it's more of a blunt shape on the females. Also on the females, uh, you'll notice what I call a sideways V pattern uh, up at the eye, so it'll go like that. I can't do it, but y'all know what I'm saying. You'll, know, you'll see a V pattern up there, um, and on the females, uh, they don't carry as much as... if. If at all, uh, I've seen some females with spotting, but they don't really uh, carry too much of it. Um, and the blotches are really, really prominent, sometimes even looking like half to full bars. So, uh, when visually inspecting them, <coughs> uh, 
uh, you know, you can't always rely on the, the spotting and, uh, you know, the, the patterns on these finish, uh, unless you're really, really trained in it. Like, if, if you've kept them for a long time, you've raised them, uh, you've bred them and stuff like that, then, you know, you could, I mean, I, you, you could probably do so. Um, but, looking at their heads, that's a tall tale sign. Uh, you know, up to about that big, their heads are going to show a difference, okay? Uh, you'll, I mean, it's not, it's not pronounced like it is inside of an adult, now don't get me wrong, but there is a difference. You'll see a, a more pronounced snout on the males, okay? On the females, you'll see a blunter snout. So, uh, that's how you can visually inspect uh, Pyrochromus managuins or Jaguar cichlid to tell what sex you have. Uh, now, there's another way to, to visually sex uh, Central and South American cichlids, and that's called venting. Uh, so, I'm going to get my, my stuff together, and we're going to do a video on how to vent. So, take a look at this awesomeness, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and of course I have to show this tank every time the camera's not on me because I love the way it looks. Uh, it definitely has a jungle type of feeling to it, but uh, today we are playing with Play-Doh, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. This is my fish, okay? Now, of course, it's not color-coded. Uh, I use colors that would, uh, you know, drastically pop against each other, uh, so you get the idea of what we're doing here. So... Uh, this is a fish, uh, and this right here is the anus of the fish, okay? Uh, this is where the all the, you know, poop and stuff would come out. So this is just a round little, uh, you know, round little piece of Play-Doh to look like an anus. So, you know, whenever you take, okay, whenever you first start, whenever you first take your fish out, of course you want to hold it while it's still inside of a net, okay? Hold it upside down over a five gallon bucket, like so, uh, of course with tank water in it, and hold them while you have them in the net, okay? Fish are slippery, and when you're holding them, they're not gonna like it, so uh, I promise you, you're gonna wanna hold on to, to, to them with a net, so. All right, so the, the first one that we're gonna look at here is the male, because we started looking at the, the visual cues of how to sex a male, so we're going to start with the with the venting of a male. Okay, so let me. All right, hold on. We got it. Okay, so we're going to start with a male. Now, here we go. Now. This is, uh, you know, of course the size is dramatically increased, uh, you know, for visual reference, but now you see an anus with a papula, okay? A papula is the sex organ of a uh, fish, okay? So, now we're sexing a male here, okay? So, whenever you're looking at them, you have them flipped over above a bucket and stuff, what you're going to want to look for is... Uh, you know, a papula that kind of comes to a point and it can even curve a little bit, like so. You see how it kind of curves up a little bit? Okay, now the part that we're looking at is this part right here, guys. All right, this is a male papula on a jaguar cichlid or Central and South American cichlid for that matter. So you're holding them upside down and you see something that looks like that, guys. Uh, that is a male, okay? So now we'll just flip that off. And we'll do a sex change real quick. And we'll go to a female. Okay, now, like I said, uh, these sizes are increased for, you know, for learning purposes. Of course, it's not going to be this big and this bold. Uh, and it may not even be that easy to tail. So, uh, now we're looking at a female papula, okay? Now the female papula is going to be, uh, you know, rounder and blunt at the tip, okay? Uh, it's going to come up as kind of like an upside down U, uh, and the male is going to be an upside down V somewhat, okay? So now you're looking at a female, all right? So this is what it's going to look like if you're looking at a female. Of course, the, the size will vary, 
<laughs> but, uh, I mean, generally, this is what you're looking at when you're looking at a female, okay? So, you're going to see a rounded, uh, blunt papula, all right? So, that's going to be your female, okay? Now, once you actually uh, pull your fish and you're looking at it, uh, you know, if you get a, if you get a really clear close-up shot of the papula, uh, you could actually, you know, post those pictures on aquatic support systems, and, you know, we can try to visually, in, uh, or visually sex your, your fish for you, okay? So, if you can get a nice clear shot of the fish's papula, then you can post it on Aquatic Support System's Facebook page, and uh, we'll do our best to sex that fish for you. But, with that said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed making it. Uh, it was a lot of fun to play with my son's Play-Doh. Uh, I made a couple different things out of it. Um, but that the purpose of today's video was how to visually sex and vent jaguar cichlids. Uh, well, vent uh, Central and South American cichlids. So uh, with the, the bitcher that you just saw, that was my Delhezi bitcher. Uh, the ornate bitcher, the one with, uh, you know, the darker colors, the one that y'all saw inside yesterday's video, that's the ornate bitcher, okay? Uh, I had a question about that, and, oh, look, see that little, oh, well, see that little guy right there? If I can get it, if I can get it to focus. Alright, you see that? Now, see, you see how his head is kind of slanted down? and it's elongated now that looks like a male to me and you know it it really does but um, you know of course you know I'll have people argue with me about it but uh, you know I've kept Jaguars a long time uh, I've had them for a while of course I don't keep any right now besides that one that you just saw but uh, definitely looks like a male as far as its head shape uh, the colors are really dark because he's hiding from Odin here uh, understandably so but uh, like I said guys I hope y'all enjoyed today's video be sure to rate comment and subscribe let me know what y'all are thinking be sure to check out aquatic support systems on Facebook like the page this is what I'm doing this is what I've done be sure to rate comment subscribe and share these videos stay true to the hobby and we'll see you next time peace